I've been retired now as district superintendent of the Southeast Conference for 11 years. And after that, I did fundraising for the Covenant Village and I worked for the trust company. But when I was with the, the conference, um, there were six states that I was in charge of, North and South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi, and Florida. And um, <clears throat> I had to travel to those places, and to the churches, and we started some new churches and adopted them. And whenever I traveled there, I flew, and I flew Delta, and you have to go to Atlanta first, and then to Charlotte, Atlanta first, and then to Pensacola, Atlanta first to Greensboro. And I heard even if you died in the South, you got to go to Atlanta first, <laughs> <laughs> then to heaven and the other place, whatever. Well, anyway, I, all the traveling, I became a million miler with Delta. They liked me. And I even was honored uh, by their executives as, uh, and I was designated as a Southern Colonel. <laughs> and so I'm, a, I'm called a, a flying colonel, actually, what it is. And I got a nice plaque in my house. And I do have a white suit at home that I haven't worn in a long time, but I, 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 could, I could wear it. But I am actually a flying colonel for Delta. I've given them a lot of money. Anyway, in all those flights, I had a lot of experiences. I met a lot of different people. A lot of interesting things happened. And I just remember this one time. I was in Orlando, and um, we were on the runway. And I was sitting on the aisle, and there's a lady across from me. And um, I just remember that as the plane started down the runway to take off, she opened her Bible and started reading. I wondered if, you know, she recognized the pilot or the crew or something here. I didn't know what we were But it made me a little curious, you know, being a minister. She's opening up the Bible and she's starting to read. And she's reading away and I see the guy next to her says to her, I overhear it, he says, you don't believe that stuff in there, do you? And she said, of course I do. It's God's word. It's the Holy Bible. He said, what about that guy who was swallowed by the fish? You don't believe in that, do you? <laughs> and she said, you mean Jonah and the whale? And he said, yeah. And he, and she said, and he said, how could something like that happen? And she said, well, you know, I don't know, but when I get to heaven, I'll ask him. And he said, well, what, what if he's not in heaven? And then she said, you can ask him. <laughs> That's not a true story. <laughs> but there's a lot of truth to it, isn't there? And tomorrow, this morning we're going to look into Jonah and his life a little bit. And I'm getting over some crud, so I might cough a couple times here and turn off the microphone before I get started. So anyway, let's stand and sing this next song. He's our Redeemer. <laughs> 